This vehicle is the Object 261. This is a Russian Tier 10 SPG. The map is Lakeville. I actually had an idea for this map, uh, which was to make it for lower tier players. You'd copy the map, and then what you would do, take all the hills and make them more shallow, not as steep, widen the roads, make the water more shallow so you don't drown in it, and uh, make the roads within the city wider. And let the lower tier players play on it. Would be a different map, a different experience, and maybe make it so you can climb up uh, some of this area. And that—that's how easy it is to come up with a new map. They can't argue and say it's not balanced, but I'm sure they won't do it. Any maps? Well, I did have one map suggestion that they put in the game, which was Northwest. And I did ask for a canyon map. They did do a canyon map. I don't know if it was based on my suggestion, but the Northwest map definitely was. And I have a lot of uh, ideas that were in the frontline map. I was one of the sandbox testers. They really do listen to suggestions. They included a lot of my ideas in the game. For example, one of my ideas was uh, when you highlight a tank and it shows the number of meters, it used to be that it would disappear if you uh, moved your mouse away. And now it would disappear immediately, and now it kind of fades away. So um, that was one of my ideas that they added to the game. And another one is the damage indicators. When you get hit and it shows you how much damage you took and where it came from, and if it's wide, you took more damage, and if it's thin, you took less. That was another one of my ideas. And I had forgotten about it. I was going through my old support tickets, and I had seen it. Got to keep moving after every shot. Counter artillery is really a waste of time. You're unlikely to take the enemy tank out of the game. It's easy to just move. There's more important things to do. Not going to get any stun damage from it. This guy's about to meet his maker. Oh, I missed. Hopefully I will not get spotted over here. There is a chance that I will get spotted. And that's all you got to do. If you get spotted by the enemy artillery, move far away. They'll never find you because they'll, they'll be obsessed with wherever they saw you and they'll keep looking at the same spot over and over again. I want to get behind these bushes, definitely. I don't think I can hit this guy. Nah. Nah, man. Let's see how smart you are, buddy. See if he's got the brains. Well, I stunned him. I'm going to move a little to the left. I should probably go for that Jag Panzer E100. I do aim rather accurately. Oh, this sucks. It sucks in so many ways. That also sucks. Okay, we got this. Maybe I lost a lot of uh, opportunities. Oh, you know what? This is not good. 
were losing in the town. Okay, that wasn't a good shot. Letting my allies know that we need help in the town. Got way too many people in the valley. A lot of slow games today, which can be good for SPG, that's for sure. I get 10 shots left. I don't want to blind fire because I don't have a lot of rounds. Very low damage game. It's not good. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Give me a break. I got cheated. He's probably going to get spotted. Uh, maybe not. The object 140 chickened out. He's probably an Anakum. These guys can't play. Today's been poor gameplay. Yeah, look what you did, buddy. I'm just moving forward to wait. I didn't get stun damage. That's too bad. There is a chance he's still there. Yeah, I missed him. Missed him. Okay, they're advancing. They're probably going to go deep into our territory, so I'm going to head this way. I don't want to knock the building down. That would be really rude. Low damage game. Yeah, I could have fired. I'm going to take a chance. I did stun him. I got 426 stun damage. 775 stun damage. It was decent. It was worth it. Wasn't a well-aimed shot because there was something blocking. Looks like that building right there is blocking. Trying to predict where he's going to go. Using my mind. I'm reading his mind. Only got six shots left. He's obviously right there. He knocked that tree down. Scores 10 to 9. Looks like they let him get away. It says the STRV killed him. And I bet you he's not going to tell us where the STRV is, right? Because he's an Anakum. Ah, fuck it. Better to go for the leopard? Nah. Oh, 
Okay, guys. Two twenty three damage on the STRV. Checking their hit points. Letting them know where I'm going to fire so they don't do anything stupid, uh, which you know they'll heed my warning. Three thirty one on the STRV. We lost a tank. The SPG took out uh, our STRV. The Leopard is probably behind this building, but I only got three shots left. I uh, only got 70 damage. But he's going to be spotted for a while because he's uh, in proximity of my neighbor, I mean of my ally. Can't hit him. We're going to look for this object 261. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to hold the shot. I would have blind fired, but uh, I didn't have the shot lined up properly. So we're going to go through the town. The T-92 is not really setting up a position if I spot anything, so I'm going to have to shotgun it. I'm going to go for that object 261. Oh, the leopard killed uh, my ally. Blind fire. If I had killed him. So I could try and get a draw. I've only got one shot left. Oh, I missed. Eh, it doesn't matter. I can't fire again. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you suck. No more ammo. So I missed my shot. I guess I should have carefully aimed. He totally missed. Whew. Twenty two hundred damage. Seventy five point eight. So the marks of excellence is not really climbing. I believe it was seventy five point nine. Twenty two hundred damage. 